salutations. Um, so for today's progress report, I thought I'd just sort of show you what I've put up on my Etsy store lately, which are these two drum um, synthesis and sequencing components for Touch Designer, which sort of lay down some uh, what I think are sort of the best practices for uh, drum machine type um, creations in Touch Designer. And it's fairly complete. So I've set up the sequencing section and the drum synthesis section as two individual modules so that you can reuse them as you want and maybe um, expand on them more easily. And it's also it also sort of makes sense to me to keep the uh, generative functions and the like you know triggered sequencers as separate components. So, um, so here's what it sounds like for some of the instruments. Um, the basic premise of the drum sequencers you've got. 16 channels over here of 64 step sequencing with the uh, you, know, you can change the resolution of the steps Again, to 30 second notes 16th by default it's synced to the timeline tempo so you can slow it down and uh, as you change instruments it will change the it'll repopulate the parameter field with the appropriate values which are velocity sensitive so 0.5 would give me a half velocity. But what I find particularly helpful are these two workflow features. So you can easily clear the whole field and then get back into it and program, because 64 steps is a lot, but you can program it quickly by copying, say, step 1 to 16, or um, say you get something cool going on in two bars, up to 32 steps. Then there you go, there you have it, 32 steps. Same for all things, so let's get the snare going, let's clear it. Okay, and then next up, that's pretty much it, and it sends out these channels over here, which then channel um, trigger the corresponding channels. So if you're going to be using this without the sequencer, then you can just sort of name the uh, channels this off the bat, like make a constant with all these values, and those will trigger the appropriate instrument. Uh, there are 16 instruments in total, but each of these are grouped in pairs and are all the same and share the same circuit. Uh, which is done to optimize for the efficiency of the circuit and also you know it's also sort of in that old school sort of um, tr808 tr909 way of programming in which certain oscillators just to, to save on efficiency will have um, dual functions like especially the noise generators and whatnot um, it also leads to interesting results when both channels are used at the same time for some instruments it averages the values and um, yeah, for others, it sort of uh, makes a decision of one or the other. Um, so let's get uh, let's get some sounds going in here. Yeah, you can. Let's add some claps. So the open hat and the closed hat are of course on the same circuit so that they have this uh, natural sort of choking behavior. Um, yep. Okay, and this other input over here is uh, where things start to get interesting. So I'm going to show you like sneak preview of the next sort of components coming up. Um, basically, so you can drive this either with the built-in um, built-in beat chop, or you can start um, enter your own ramp channel, which needs to be named ramp, and start manipulating the sequencing data. So here we've got um, what's going to be part of my ramp tools series of components. Um, is the ramp shuffle. There's also going to be ramp remixer, ramp multiplexer, and a bunch of different sort of ramp tools that are, I find, very useful to have. So this is the shuffling ramp, and we can hear its effect. 
Oh, it's also coming from like out against that lighter. So it shuffles around pretty much. Um, this next component as well is probably going to be the next one that I'm going to have up on my Etsy store. It's the Master Clock. It's, you know, if you have it, it's pretty much going to be a good place to start for synchronizing uh, your whole touch signer uh, audiovisual network. So, um, first thing is you can change the timeline of your whole session, of your local time. You can uh, output a master ramp of a certain length over here. Here's for four bars. You can also sync the whole timeline to the ramp. So if you've got a goal and in the end you're going to end up exporting using some timer chops or anything else, sync to the timeline. You may have noticed that just go by. Um, yeah, you'll be able to sync the length of your timeline with the length of your ramp, uh, even if your tempo changes. And oh yeah, it's got a tap tempo. And um, I think the features I'm going to add, well, I'm really open to suggestion on this one, but it's going to be an easy way to output MIDI clock sync and to receive MIDI clock sync for your whole touch designer session. So that one's going to be coming out. It's going to work really well with the drum seeker and the drum sync. I forgot to talk about presets, but here they are. We can change presets. And we can store presets by choosing where we want to store them. Um, I want to store that one on preset one. Now it should be stored. And if we go back to preset set three. And that's it. And there's a bunch of sounds with congas. Let's get into some congas here. Got individual panning, and again, these like really helpful workflow features. You try to figure out what's going on, slap the button, and everything will be reset to default. And if you want it, again, with the ramp tools, you can even send um, polyrhythmic ramps, as long as they're named ramp and have um, an integer behind them, and up to 15, then you can also start doing sort of poly, polyrhythmic stuff. There you have it, those are the two components in a nutshell. You can find them again on the Etsy store over here, etsy.com slash ca slash shop, stare into the fire. And it's this one, touch signer, drum sequencer, and drum synth. And have a look at the instruction manual, whatever's up there. But like I said, I mean, these components, they do what they do over here, but there's also a bunch of other additional tools you can dig into over here, such as this particular preset system, which I quite like, and uh, this audio pounder component. You know, that's that's a good one as well. So uh, look into it and uh, have fun.